Hi, um, and we are in Iowa, and uh, one of our customers, uh, his name is Ray Gazer, uh, and he have actually uh, first experience uh, with his machine he purchased just a month, about a month ago. So I just uh, we stopped by to ask a few questions, what his experience was, and if he's satisfied with his purchase. Hi Ray, how are Hi. you? Good. <laughs> Thank you for having us over. Thank well, you, you know, for taking your uh, time. You're welcome. Thanks for, for thanks for coming and visiting with us. Oh, that's that's a great pleasure. It's beautiful here, by the way. Uh, and um, what would you say? You have MC uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Uh, does the machine do the job? So yes. Um, uh, we're, we're first of all we're learning and and uh, we we didn't set it up perfectly this time because it was temporarily and, and we were really on a short time schedule to use it to clean our cereal rye that we harvest for cover crops and so we wanted to get it cleaned and back into storage so it was ready for us to plant here at harvest time in about a month and a half. Uh, but uh, we will call this our winter project for winter of 2017 to, uh, to set it up on a trailer and to uh, really do the, the recycling, uh, put in the recycling conveyors that we need to do in order to make it work perfectly. Uh, but it did work adequately for us. Um, be because we ran everything through the second time. If we, uh, if we set it up right and, and pick number three and maybe number four and recycle and reclean that, we think we'll have a really nice product with one cleaning. Okay, awesome. So you have it on the trailer. Mm -hmm. So does that mean you were cleaning right off the field? Yeah. Well, yes, that's, uh, that's what we're planning on doing is, is particularly with our rye harvest, uh, to clean it right in the field and then put it right on our trucks and, and go right into our storage bin until planting time, you know, just to save one and one application and, and keep all the chaff and things in the field, you know, instead of uh, having to uh, clean that up later. That makes perfect sense. And uh, so your field's kind of spread around and you're taking it anywhere you go, yeah. anywhere you need to. Yeah. Yeah, we're able to move it. We have a generator on here that we use on the farm in case we have a, you know, a power outage. So we just set, we'll just set it up on the trailer and it will power everything uh, that, that this cleaner needs to have along with the augers and everything. And, and uh, we think it's gonna work really well uh, after we get, uh, you know, after we spend a little time with it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, so, according to your experience, do you feel comfortable to recommend the machine uh, to your friends or some farmers, uh, neighbors? And yeah, I, I really think for for a lot of applications, it's gonna gonna work pretty well. Uh, you know, to to get the chaff out and to get the you know the small seeds and the you know and the the chaff from harvest away from the from the good seeds that we want to plant. I think it's going to work pretty well. That air system just seems simple to me and, and that's what attracted me to it, to not have to have all those screens and everything for a different product and I think for most of the applications that we're going to use on our farm, I think it's going to work pretty well. Oh, perfect. So what do you think? Is it hard to operate or learn how to do this? I mean, is it? was it any difficulties? No, it's, it's really a lot like setting our combines, you know. It's, you know, it's about air and it's about, about lift. And, and once you figure all that out and, and how far the air will blow the good seeds and the chaff, you know, uh, you pretty well have it down. And once you get it set, you know, it works for the whole load then. So. All right. So, so far you just run your rice through it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far. Yeah, we're, we're planning on maybe uh, cleaning some soybeans with it uh, in, in maybe not this year yet, but in the following year, we think we'll be able to, uh, to uh, have, a, have an opportunity to clean our own soybeans for seed also. So that'll be uh, an attractive savings for us as we need to here in agriculture because uh, there's not a lot of profitability left right now. So. Yep, uh, it's a hard work, uh, <laughs> definitely. So what do you say, like 2010 machine for how big of a farmer it have to be to mm. purchase this type of machine, 2010? Well, from what, from what we uh, experienced, you know, we were cleaning about three or 400 bushels an hour to get it really clean. So, you know, I, I think that's what, uh, you know, a, a farmer would need to determine how many hours he had available to spend in cleaning. And so, uh, you know, right now uh, with rye, cereal rye, we only clean three or 4,000 bushels a year. And then in the future, we would hope to clean about that many more soybeans in a year. So, uh, you know, that for us, that would be, 
you know, um, oh, two or three days of cleaning. Okay. You know? And and that's about all the uh, and that's about all the free time we have, I think. So. I see. And uh, what would you say, like, that, how many people it takes to operate the machine? Uh, once we get it set up, one person. Okay. That's all it takes. If we, if we set it up, you know, to to have. Uh, uh, equipment available to load load the, the cleaner and, and also equipment available to take the product away. Uh, one person can operate it all day long. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's true. And uh, do you have to keep a you know, constant eye on it or you can just check um, it? We have, but I don't know for sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I think, you know, I think if your product going in was consistent, the product coming out would be pretty consistent. And, you know, we just, uh, we would just check, you know, the clean product every occasionally to, to see how it was doing. So. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so it seems to be like it's working well for you. Yeah, I think so. So we are glad we met. Yeah, we, thank you welcome. so much. Thank you. And um, we will go to you next. <laughs>